This video was sponsored by all of the fantastic backers over at Patreon. Check the link out in the description or go to patreon.com forward slash stuff plus to find out more. Generic greetings and welcome back to Stellaris in the previous episode. Typical stuff, expansion and actually a bit of fighting. Over here there was some, it was like the rogue AI or mining drones or something. Um, whatever it was and we defeated it. It was uh, quite an easy fight with our Strike Force Titan 4135 generic strike units, military power and all of that. So we did quite well. However... Got a bit of a problem. Oop north, oop north, we've got a bit of a problem. The XT-489 Eliminator is a rogue defense system determined exterminators. They do not like biologicals and um, yeah as you can see we are certainly that or at least we look like that. We might be synths, we might have uh, underneath that like the terminator sort of thing but no. Um, the problem is, he does not like us or anyone around him, and because of that, he's gone to war against the Mirian Star Corp, which is fine, because I don't like them either, or they don't like me, both of the same. Ruthless capitalists, as you can see, militarist and fanatic materialist, and that's a bit bad for him, because, as you can see, pretty much everybody dislikes him anyway. Oh, actually, not the case. Let me just check, see what his thing says. No, no, pretty much everyone around him hates him. So, um, that's not gonna go well, because my plan is to be a bit cheeky, and if if this guy's fleet power ever gets to the uh, inferior rating, I'm going to attack him and probably destroy that outpost and then liberate that one because I can. However, he does have a defensive pact with the mandate of Crypta or whatever it is here, and they are also in equivalency, but they have to go through here, and as you can see, they are not entirely friendly with those two, so they've got rivals and closed borders, so they're going to have to go through this one, which is uh, that's about right anyway, but we'll see how it goes. So either way, unpause it, let's just crack on. So we'll go to the G Colony 2 Prime and we'll upgrade that science station to a physics lab and then we'll start building in different places. So currently maxed out on most things. I think we're going to go for some more minerals. There we go. We also do need to have a little chat with the artists and say a commission in our piece. We could say 1,500 which gives us unity output and migration attraction. We don't really want to do the migration attraction just yet but that's about right for us there. We've also got the option to offer them... Uh, we can say yes, uh, do a, have a festival, and that increases happiness and growth speed, which again will be quite good. However, we don't have, we do have the minerals, we do have the influence, we don't have the energy credits, so I can probably go and have a chat with the, where is it, is it the trade enclave? Yes, it is, we want to trade for energy credits, and we'll say swap, a t swap 2,000 minerals for 1,000 energy credits. Actually, what we'll do is we'll talk to the curators first and make sure that, uh, yeah, we are improving our research on there once. That's that's fine. So it's just straight over to artists, communicates, uh, a festival, and say it's a deal. There we go. Actually, one thing I should have checked. Has everybody got Consecrate? Yeah, we've got Consecrate on all of our worlds, so that's fine. Uh, we might also use that to say Capacity Overload. We're on plus 49 for, um, for energy over here, so again, quite good. In terms of our unit trees, as you can see, we have maxed out the Harmony, Discovery, and we're working down expansion. Now, I was still a bit, I was still unsure whether or not I was going to go up the expansion tree. Uh, the Galactic Ambition would be very, very good. That'll help us out massively because we do have four frontier outposts, and obviously that'll increase our uh, our influence up another two. Actually, it says minus five there. So, do we have five? One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, so we'll get two and a half. We'll get another 2.5 influence. That should be fine. And then additional pop. Don't care about that. And uh, increased tradition cost based on the... What's that? The effect of increased tradition cost caused by a number of colonies is reduced by that one. Um, Again, not really too bothered. Uh, there's the... Oh, they're ending their rivalry, which is interesting. Oh, one thing I haven't done is uh, send this guy on automatic exploration. There's the physics lab 2, which you've just unlocked. We're going to have a quick look down and we can see we've got... Ooh, research alternatives is always good. Disruptor's good. Most of these are good. I think we'll go for research alternatives. I think that's always useful. Then we'll just upgrade all of our... Physics labs. There we go. And G Colony 3 still has these to clear, so we will go ahead and do all of that. Fairly simple task there. We've also got uh, an election. So we have support for... Who can we do that? That's colony speed, defense platform. That's army damage and multi-unity. We're going to say... Oh, we can't support the multi-unity because we don't have the... We don't have the influence, which is a shame. Anyway. So this guy is no longer rivaling him, which I don't understand why. They're on minus 25... Oh, we're on plus 25%, which is interesting. So this... Because these stopped rivaling them, because we don't have the... 
mutual rival thing going on. We might have a problem there. Looks like the Airweb Rax Raxi Condium Systems has allowed me into their border. Right, literally too small that I didn't even care about that one. Looks like um, the election promise has been unfulfilled, which is why I didn't get elected. Uh, we've now had some integration over here. This is now guys going that guy's going to get integrated there. And um, looks like broken artistry didn't work. We'll salvage the materials because obviously we need all of that. So we've re-elected the current ruler. That's fine. That's no problem. So we'll close that, close that. Um, subjects being integrated and some surveyings going on as well yeah so we're into that sort of stellaris midground where there's nothing much we can really do um i do want to terraform these worlds but I, a, I don't have the resources and also i don't have atmospheric manipulation not that it's a problem at the moment because we can't really do much anywhere um because we have the let me knock it up to super speed uh because we uh we're at four four directly colonize systems there's only a couple that we'd like to take but the problem is like what which ones would it be are these ones yeah but we need atmospheric manipulation so there's the mineral solo uh, solo solo silo three we've also got options for mass drivers fusion missiles and fighters and defense stations we're going to say this one here building build speed plus 50 percent that's always useful so we'll set all of these and if nothing else what we can do. Why are they not working in there? Let me swap that around. If nothing else, what we can do is probably go for a probably go for just a straight trade and just start trading trading up with uh, the minerals and the with the min yeah minerals to energy and then transfer that one. How much would it take? Because that's exceptional mineral quality. How much would it take to turn that into a... What world are we on? Are we arid? Is our base world arid? I think it is. Arid world. Take 2,000 to transfer it to arid. So that's easy. So we just go over to the Zero Corp. We'll say trade for, uh, trade for energy credits. Bump. There we go. Done. And then we'll go for that one and transfer that one, or rather terraform it, into an arid world. It takes 1,800 days. So we're best off doing it now, sooner rather than later and all of that. Looks like we've got some non-aggression packs going on there between this guy and this guy. That's fine. It's always good when the game puts the same blues about. Thank you very much, game. I'm sure, I thought they said they were going to change that, but uh, hey-ho. So we're at 63 of 64 naval capacity. That will increase as we get more... As we get more colonies, uh, let me just pause it for a moment. We've now got research alternatives, which is good. So shield capacitor, plasma throw, advanced combat rolls. Hyperdrive 2 is always useful, so we will go for that one there. You just jump quicker, you see. So that's fine. Construction complete. So that's a tundra world and an arctic world, and both of them are quite small. That's got no bonuses. That's got no bonuses on negatives either, but not much blocked, actually. In order to transfer them to something else, it's going to be problematic. Don't know if we'll be able to do it or not. Let me go for some basic science labs on these ones here. As you can see, though, we've got... Uh, not enough people on there, but they'll, we'll, we'll have some people migrating, I think, at least moving about. On here, we'll have someone. How are we doing for food? Plus eighteen, no problem. Um, so this is the Patreon newsletter. So following the let's do this. Uh, been busy the last couple of months. New kinds of technology invented by resident capable of transmitting s sensations of smell to a user. We would like to donate to that, which will cost us five hundred ng, but we do gain. Some influence, and influence is more important System to us. Uh, is there anything we can build here? We do have the art monument, which increases unity. Um, it increases migration attraction. We can only build that while we're currently donating, or while we're running the artistry. So I'm going to say build it there. We might as well have it on this planet, because it's fairly big and there's nothing much else to put there. Uh, so we've now got another System unity. I say that tradition there, or expansion. We'll say, yeah, frontier outpost upkeep reduced by 50%. Take that, and then watch this go, watch this go up. Boom. There you go. Doubled. System Excellent. Excellent. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. So, Arid World. We'll upgrade that. We'll upgrade that to Engineering. Upgrade that to Engineering. Obviously, nobody's there yet, but there will be eventually. So, just planning for the future there. In terms of the edicts, most of them are fairly stock. Uh, I think we do have the option for... Oh, no, we don't. We have uh, map the stars and things like that, but we don't have the Grand Fleet. Grand Fleet option, very, very decent if you want to... Well, big fleet, obviously. 
There's the hyperdrive too, and we will we'll go for assist research because that tends to be quite. I don't know why it seems to be quite rare when it pops up. Let me slow it down a little bit. Uh, Sacred Nexus has just been researched. Ah, and there's atmos atmospheric manipulation. Straight away, I'm going to go for that one. Not even going to read the other ones. Uh, there's some non-aggression packs going on. Non-aggression packs. Uh, there's some rivalries. Uh, close all that down. Don't need to know that. But we do need to upgrade all of these temples to well, the hollow temples to the other one. Which Our is... Have been improved. Oh, you need to plant your capital on that one. There we go. So upgrading them to... What are we upgrading them to? A sacred nexus. Very, very nice. Which increases... I'm guessing... Let's have a quick look. It's unity output plus 10% and spiritual ethics attraction plus 30. Whereas the other one is just plus 30. Yeah. So we gain a 10% output boost and it goes from 6 to 9 anyway. So that's, pretty, that's really good. So our unity is going to go up fairly... Heavily, I think. The spirits have granted us new Looks like there was a trade deal there, and uh, I didn't see it. Um, more research here, and there's a approved assist research. I think we're going to go for that one. So it was from whom? Uh, this, uh, it was from... Him. So off a trade deal. What was he, what was he asking? Star charts? I don't know. Maybe research agreement. I'll wait until it pops up later on. Doesn't say what it was, you see. The Quapinjaxi Compact declared the Eliminators their rival. Let's just check this guy and we'll see that they are still equivalent. They're still at war as well. How is this guy? Superior in fleet power. Hmm. That could be a problem. Well, it is. It could be a problem if they go to war against me um, at the moment. Eh, not so much. So there's another trade deal. So, he wants a research agreement, and he will give me some minerals and energy credits. Ah, uh, it's 20 years, though. Spiritual Seekers, how friendly are we with them? We are, in terms of shaky hands, non-aggression packed, and also, um, quite well, actually. You know what? I will accept that. I don't think there's any problem there. I've been putting them off for a while, because I've been, I've just been trying to avoid them. This guy wants star charts as well. Yeah, go on then. And, oh, we can't reach anywhere else. That's a problem. See that? Yeah, right. So we can't reach anywhere else because we have pretty much just run out of... Because we've shared that star charts, we can't go anywhere else. So that's a shame. But we'll head back. I'm glad that's getting changed on the next patch. That's very good. Anyway, so we'll head back. And it means now that I do have assist research. So my science ships are not just going to be sitting doing nothing. They can assist research on the planet. And because I have got in here discovery, I've got the faith in science. Assist research, or resist research also produces one unity per scientist level researching. What's that? Researching uplink miniaturization increases the effect. Ah, oh, okay. So I think we are... Are we researching that anywhere? Yes, we are. So that's fine. That's good. What do you want to see? There's the building speed done. So we've got cruiser semi-lads, robots, mass drivers, mining network. Uh, most of this I don't want. Um, as Antroop wants me to continue, I will say yes, because I have the resources. Don't want those. Don't want this. Don't want that. Don't want that. Ugh, I guess I'll go for mining then. Although, unlocking the other stuff, you start going down that tree. So maybe it's worth me doing that. Oh. Trailers no defense armies on these planets, on that planet rather. 8,000 minerals, good grief. Trade a corp, trade for energy, uh, one, two. Trade for something else, strategic resources. I've got zero gel, yeah, which increases habitability. Don't need it. Uh, actually, no, because it makes them happier. So we'll might as well do some zero gel. We'll also have curators. Uh, research, we will say, give me the research as well. So because our economy is so strong, we can just brute force our way through a lot of this one. The problem is obviously our size of, well, the naval capacity size, which is um, not great. However, as you can see from this, we are, ooh, just over a year ready for being able to terraform that. There's our atmospheric manipulation. We're going to say new research. We've got chemical bliss, which we don't want. Core sector systems plus one. We've got the civic slots plus one for galactic administration, and which gives the empire capital complex, which is very good. I think I'm going to go for the... I would really like that one, and that's pretty good as well, because it increases habitability. I think I'm going to go for the core sector systems plus one. So then we can keep this system in direct control instead of having to put it into a sector uh, why we are going on to um this as well so i think that's going to be useful 
So just waiting for my science ships to get back. I'm just going to go around and check science output on a lot of these colonies. Definitely not G Colony 3, and it's going to be G Colony 1 and 7, 20, 31, 26, 31, and 34, I think, or 33. Um, so... Greetings, patron Desmond Biggs. That's our uh, person uh, in charge. Come up with a, a gorgeous new type of architecture, specifically tuned to improve crowds understanding one another. The Ministry of Culture functions thanks to a mix of using populace's subconscious bias against each other, art, and then mashing all, presenting a new form of unity. Um, <laughs> That might be good. I just don't have the resources for it. Let me just alter it that because I can say trader and uh, there's that and then it's a deal. There we go. So we now have the Ministry of Culture. So is that a building or is it an edict? I think it is a building. So if we just say replace. Yeah, Ministry of Culture. Wow, 10 unity. That's pretty good, isn't it? Right. Let's upgrade that. And on here, let's have a Ministry of Culture. Because why not? And I'll put the person on there once they're done. In fact, I'll just move them over now. So, might as well have food for that. And then minerals. Build all these. I'll put them up there until that's built, because otherwise they'll complain. So, um, we also want Spaceport Colony Ship. Let's get this Colony Ship over here, because we are only a couple of days, a couple of hundred days from terraforming that. Desert World. We'll go, for, go over to our world. There is another option for traditions. We'll go for... New colonies start with initial pop because we're just about to colonize that anyway. So we might as well. There is more research. X-ray laser, always good. Power plant 3, don't need it, but it would be nice to have. I think we're just going to keep going up probably um, sensors because we haven't got any sensors. We've got basic sensors, <laughs> which is never good. That's now been terraformed, as you can see. So that's useful. We will be able to terraform these soon. Uh, well, 5,000 minerals. But we'll get that at some point. And our ships have been improved. There's, is, there's our colony ship. Colonized planet. Um, there. Should be fine. And with the amount of minerals that's going to give us, oh boy, I don't think we're going to be, we're going to be wanting for nothing when it comes to that one. So, science ship, we've got a couple of science ships, Our ships have been improved. they can assist research, the other one can go to, was G Colony 1? Was G Colony 1? And just assist research, which not only generates unity, but also, well, incre increases the research, obviously. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's why it's called that. Right. Uh, looks like we have another science ship there as well. Can't auto explore. Okay, we'll just go back and uh, repair. Well, upgrade rather. So that's fine. We've already upgraded our. Oh no, looks like we haven't. Let's we'll upgrade those. Right, so extra sensors, that's good. We've got hyperdrive 3, very, very good to get. Um. Although I think we're going to go for. Oh, the disruptor's nice as well. And the Luthric. Gas refining, shield hit points. I'll go for that one, because if we have something in here, then, uh, well, that'll be very good. So, upgrade our fleet. Costs a little bit. It looks like... Ah, the inevitable's happened. The rogue defense system's now fighting against him. How many wars this guy got? He's got, um... He's against the Miriam Starcorp, these guys, as well as him. No, as well as, sorry, the Mandate. And he's also against the... Zaklot Confederacy and also the Quapin Jaxi. What is his fleet power? Superior, but technology level in in inferior. You know what? Are we on closed borders, by the way? I don't think so. Can I go to there? No, I can't. I need to open their borders, because in order to attack him... Well, actually, that's a question. Can I go that way? Yeah, but it's that's better. Why not? Because I'm going round. Uh, either way, if I'm going to attack this guy, it's going to be a problem doing it anyway. 
Miriam Starkov's made peace with him. Doesn't like they made any ground. Which uh, we would expect. Let's go for capacity overload on a lot of this thing. Construction so, capacity overload. Uh, no capacity overload, and that one's garbage. That one already has capacity overload. Spiritual unity is good as well, increases unity output. Um, Our ships have been improved. And quite honestly, I think it's worth. I think it's worth it. Increases unity, increases unity, and the one remaining one with. Oh my good grief! There's some upgrades there. Um, I'll get to that in a moment. That's a future me problem. Uh, let me let me just reduce the speed down a little bit. So we want to. Not upgrade that. That's an extra cost systems, which is good. We'll go for... Well, there's the Grand Fleet. Yeah, we'll go for the Grand Fleet. And finally, G Colony, as you can see, a lot of upgrades to be done here. That's simply because we've just upgraded the uh, planetary capital. Or we've upgraded it to a planetary capital. Lots of declarations of aggression there, but nothing against me, so... The spirits have to worry too much. Wisdom. There's more wisdom. So, reveals the gas, and we've now got option for shield generator. Shield generator is very good, actually, because it gives you planetary fortification toughness plus 100% and also produces science, so you can shove it down there. But we've also got observatory, which is fantastic. One of the best pieces of kit in the game, I think. Just plus 10%. Science output on the planet. Only costs one maintenance, uh, one energy, and uh, 100 and 100 minerals, and it goes on all space parts. It's amazing, and it increases sensor range by 50%. Very, very good indeed. Uh, let's go for, on this one, oh yes, we can get battleships. Well, we'll go straight for that then. I think that's something we want to go for. Let's also go down to the strategic resources. We have zero gel, because that's one we bought, and this dust as well, only one of one. So it doesn't look like we found any of that other stuff that we uh, mentioned previously. I uh, just need to check. We have got the ability to terraform these now. As you can see, terraform, we do have... Well, the ability to do, to do that, but we don't have the energy to do that. So over to the Zero Corp, go for Trade Energy, and Bosch, Bosch, and then unpause it. And then we'll just keep going until we get the energy credits. Currently on plus 28 energy credits, so not a great amount of profit there. But um, I think we will start putting... Um, I don't know, do we upgrade these? Well, we might as well upgrade them. The, the thing is, they're going to cost energy to do. But... Here's the thing, we're just going to take that minerals and transfer it into energy at a bad rate, obviously, but, uh, you know, it's uh, what we've been given, so we'll go with it. Complete. Looks like Zalabar Prime is almost done. Obviously, we will rename that. Um, here's a newsletter. We can donate to gain influence, which I will do do. Now, the reason I'm doing that is you might think, oh, well, I'm trying to save for energy credits. Why I'm doing that? Because as soon as this world is taken, I can say, build the spaceport and consecrate straight away. Otherwise, I'd be waiting. Look at that. <laughs> Just on the money. Excellent. Okay, so we will rename that. Um, it's going to be um, G Colony uh Hang on, why did you not type G call money four? Wish you would put it in order. Um Ah, actually, that's something that someone mentioned. I've renamed the systems G Colony system. And these ones I didn't, which is why it's slightly different. So this one I'm gonna to change to The spirits have granted hang on. New G Colony. Uh, which one's this one? This is three. There we go. And this one. Because I, I renamed the system rather than the planet. And apparently that was... Um, that's completely wrong. Well, it's actually not completely wrong. It's just a little wrong. And there we go. Job done. Okay, so... Da, da, da. Yep, that's all done. Name and conventions complete. Science. Let's do some science. So we've got clone vat, no uplift, no reveals resource, no and uh, galactic am administration. Civic slots plus one and empire capital complex, which is just really, really, really good. So we'll go with that one as well. Okay. So we are 
still upgrading these. That's getting built. What we want to do is put a probably a gene clinic in as well as a temple. So a temple first, then a gene clinic, and then we want to have some minerals there. And then what else have we got to do? We've also got an art monument as well as Paradise Dome, but we can't do that until they're fully upgraded. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. Science ship is currently doing nothing. Um, we'll see. Oh, there's the observatory. Um, so we need to go. I think we'll go power plant three because then we'll be on a lot of energy credits. We'll also go for, hang on a second, um, that is still building the spaceport, that's getting built there, that doesn't need upgraded, but we do need to put this science ship on something, so where is my science ship currently, so we've got two science ships, one is our G colony one, the other one's at uh, G star, so we've got two and three to look at, so that one is producing in terms of science a bit, and that one's producing a little bit less, so that's settled, that one it can go over to there, assist research. And you can see these are now level 6, because we can go over the standard cap because of uh, what we set there. That one has not got the capacity overload, but I can't set it, and to be fair, it's only plus 6, so it's not going to matter. Uh, we do need to upgrade some of these things here, so we'll do that. Uh, this one is fully upgraded. We now have the option to go for a courier network, which is reduced tradition costs. And finally, we have another ascension perk, which will be Mind Over Matter Effect. The latent psionic abilities of our species will be awakened, so have some individuals, and and yes, because we are going down the psionic tree. Since the dawn of our civilization, tales have flourished of mighty sorcerers wielding powers that can only be described as supernatural in nature. These rare uh, generis could supposedly invade the minds of their fellows. Uh, lift heavy objects with merely thought or perform any number of other magical traits. Until recently, these stories were just that. Stories now, however, it ain't essentially. So yeah, there we go. And um, yeah, we have now space wizards. Fantastic. Good. That's what we want to see. So eventually that will start popping off all along the world. And then we'll have um, people with psionic stuff. And it'll just increase as we progress on. So still running on fastest. Migration treaty going off by someone there. Looks like that's been built. Or rather, yeah, that's been fully upgraded. Nothing to upgrade there. That's going, they're building, you can move over to the temple there, you can move over to there once you're, Construction complete. well, there, because you're not even there yet, you're not even alive yet, no point in upgrading that just yet, you can only one fully upgraded, yeah, most of the upgrades are here, oh, that's right, observatory, we need an observatory everywhere. Uh, this one is solar power, and then we'll just say fully upgrade the spaceport to max level, and obviously that's going to start increasing our naval capacity, which I'm not going to I'm not going to spend at the moment. I'm not going to do that because I want to wait until I have the uh, battleship upgrade. That's power plant three. That's going to be useful. Uh, what do we want to go for? Spe sensors off cold fusion. Cold fusion increases the power on the ships. And we will... Ooh, who do you want to have? Mm, I'm not going to... I'm just going to not vote on that one. How are we on battleships? Battleships are oh, 63 months. Miles away. Yeah. Sort of five plus years, really. But... Complete. Once we have it, it'll be good. So... Election promises unfulfilled... We, but they re-elected the leader. Good grief. It's like most governments. We're going to promise to do this. We didn't do it. Okay, we'll keep electing the same people. What's the defini definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. <laughs> anyway. So, you... I'm not even going to build a basic power plant because I'm going to wait for this to upgrade and then finish the rest off. Uh, speaking of power plants though, lots of upgrades. Obviously this is going to take a while to go through, but it'll be worth it. And there we go. And, oh, this is the energy production area. Capacity overload. That's already on capacity overload. I don't like this song very much. Hang on, let me change it to, where's my favourite? It is towards Utopia. There we go. So, question... Uh, we now have, as you can see, seven directly colonized systems, but, or we can have, 
Where do we go from here? Because we've got Harmony Fulfill check, uh, Discovery check, and Expansion check. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go su Supremacy because as soon as, we as soon as we take that up, our border range increases by 25%, <laughs> which has put some systems in our grasp. Um, specifically that one there. Complete. So it is on that one there as well. So that's quite actually useful. So I will say that ship can go there. And that ship can go there. Now, these shouldn't interfere with him because it's not Frontier Outpost. Um, also, going up Supremacy might give me... It might be worthy... Oh, there's a materialist faction pop up. There won't be many factions. Uh, there's only two. Not really too worried about that one. Uh, yeah, we... Ooh, broke off their non-aggression pact. The spirits have that could be some more war. Wisdom. There's our cold fusion. Synchronized defenses. Uh... Fire rate plus 25%, weapon damage plus 25% on your space part. Always like the idea of it rather than the reality. So we'll go with the advanced shields, but we will upgrade our force, which is uh, it's half a thousand. But I don't think that's too much of a problem. Trade corp, energy credits, bump, there we go. And we will terraform. So 14 and 10, so 14 is in G colony 3. Ah, this one won't even let me go for uh, arid this one won't even um change my directly control colonized systems systems so we've already got g colony three so we're just taking uh g colony three two and we'll take three two a which is in no way confusing so we'll take that how is this upgrading pretty good pretty good um what was the upgrade order it was for most things, crew quarters and then observatory. So, crew quarters and then observatory. Ships have been we also have a fleet academy. There you go, which is when you build stuff there, you gain bonuses. Fleet up to 4,261. Not great. Thought it would go up a little bit more with that reactor. We haven't done any fleet building, but um, there's no real need to at the moment. We're just letting it crack on with whatever it thinks is best, which currently is large UV lasers and a fairly balanced armor and shield layout. That's decent proportions, I think. That's fine. So we'll get a bit more research from here and here. That's fine. Nothing to do around there. Um, that's okay. That one's just out, which is a shame. So yeah, I only picked the Supremacy really for the border range straight away. But it means we can go down here, though. So we can go for build speed, naval capacity, a sea planet war demand, army damage, uh, unity increase by 10% per rival, which we've got no rivals, admiral level cap increase. I don't think I really want that. I think I'd actually rather go for either diplomacy or prosperity. Prosperity is just going to uh, give us more more resources and increase and also unity as well uh, diplomacy might be quite useful if we can maybe ally with him although do we want to do that evangelizing zealots we could probably ally up with him make a federation they are however inferior in terms of fleet power how is this guy in terms of fleet power uh, he's equivalent and him is equivalent as well but technology inferior i really want to go over there and sledge him with a with the with my ships, but I think we're gonna get we're probably gonna get some bigger boats first. I think that would be probably best. So we'll go for probably go for battleships first, which we should be on about forty months, thirty eight months, close enough. The us new there is Empire Capital Complex. Good. And ooh, the Psionic Army. We're gonna go for that. One of, if not the best forces you can get here and also unspent civic points so civic points it's not something that uh really covered before i don't think uh well we did when we created the faction but that's all you've got so you can reform your government and it costs you uh 20 uh, 250 influence and you can increase your civics so you can give them civics and you can remove different ones so you can say remove that and add others and stuff like that um i don't want to remove any i think what we've got which is leaders and stuff is good but do i want to get other things like efficient bureaucracy beacon of liberty increases unity because you can get some of these i think some of these are the slightly different from um what you can get um i think they're slightly different from what you can get um on the start screen anyway what's this this is research agreement research agreement and Ooh, no, I don't want to research agreement with you. Oh, this is the best bit of music. Yes.
Nobody ever said Stellaris has a boring soundtrack. And if they did, they're lying. Well, it's their opinion, but uh, yeah, I think it's fantastic. Great soundtrack. Anyway, I mean, it's all it's all just pretty much it, take whatever whatever film, game, or anything you can imagine and just um, make your own little version of it. And I'm fine with that because that's... Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying it's derivative, but... I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, knocking what they've done with it, but you, you listen to bits and you go, yeah, I can see what that influences. Like, that sounds like Stargate. That sounds like a bit of, like, um, Duel of the Fates, Star Wars, whatever, and you can get bits of it. But the actual Stellaris theme. Oh, and you've got a bit of Blade Runner there, a bit of the synth stuff. It's like, yeah, I get where they're going with it. I like it. Anyway, ooh. Contact has been lost with the curator, uh, the Al curator Alpha Enclave. Wow. The curator's been destroyed. That's an 11,000 fleet. At least. Okay, interesting. Uh, we could go for prosperity. Or diplomacy. I'm going to go for diplomacy. I think I'll split my time between supremacy and diplomacy. You can uh, pick the different trees, by the way. You don't have to max them out before you move on. And there's not really any other... Ascension perks, so, oh, I want Transcendence, really. Um, and then you get full psionic ability. Uh, so we really need to max out one of these sooner rather than later. So let's see how it goes. Construction complete. Mining station's being constructed, so that's there. That was the Incoming promises. They want a migration treaty? Nope. That guy's sitting around that world, that's fine. Construction ships building down here, which will be finished in but a moment. Construction Done. Complete. Send it back to G-Star. So, do we want to build any more... Armies? Well, I don't want to build anything yet until we have... The psi core, essentially. That's what we're making. Sonic Army. It'll take a while, though. Uh, and in terms of war, let's have a look at this guy. Equivalent, down the board, apart from the bottom. Same the thing there. Oh! Well then! Uh, okay! Uh, let's just have a bit of a stretch here. Declaration of war, is it? Right, so. The Natraxi hierarchy, the totalitarian regime, has declared war. They are wanting... Everything. <laughs> okay. So, who am I against? Just the just the Nishraxi. Okay. They are superior in fleet power. That's a problem. Um, didn't even know they had minus on them with us there, which is interesting. They are, in terms of shaky hands, friendly with the Quap and Jaxi, so they can get through. They can get through. However... The only place for them to come through is... Because we're on hyperlanes. They can't get through here. They can't go... They're going to have to go around... Well, they could go all the way around north. Doubt it. Doubt they're going to do that. They're going to go direct. So they're going to come this way. They're going to go around. They're going to go through here and in this way. And probably... Yeah, they're going to go to here. Or well, that's technically the first system they're going to enter that is mine. So... Gone are the days of me having to bother with waiting for battleships. Cruiser construction begins. Also, unspent civic points. Reform government. Where is aggressive ones? There ain't one. Not in here. Okay. That's not great, but we'll have to do it. I will... Declare my demands, so I want to I wanna humiliate them for a start off. Also, we'll say, um, destroy frontier outposts. That's always a good one. We can't vassalize them. We have to go up to 100 war score, you see, and we can't vassalize them there. I will liberate... Probably... This one. And QE. Because uh, I don't want to take any of this, you see. I just want to liberate it. I'll also liberate Zendrum and the long word that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. 92 war score. Probably get a little bit more in there. Um, no. That'll be about right. There's my demands. So that's my demands. So 
let's see how this goes. Uh, this could go very, very badly straight away if he comes and attacks me. Um, what I'm going to do, talk to the equipment jacksy, uh, offer trade deal. I'll say, I want star charts and I want sight lines for 30 years. I'll give you for that energy credits and they will happily accept. Now I'm going to be, no, eh, we'll be stingy. We can still be, no, 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 let's just try and, let's be friendly actually. Confirm that. Unpause it for a moment. And I now have sight with him, so I can see anything that comes through his systems. Because he's only going to get in that way. I also have line of sight with him. Oh, God, I've directly cut this guy off. I feel quite bad about that one. Uh, this guy, the Quapin Jaxi, has accepted. That's fine. Construction complete of some gear around here. And do need to start building stuff. So let's work. Let's see which order we're going to do. Energy grid there. Um, doo -doo -doo, there's any food? There is food over there, but that's yeah, it doesn't really matter what I do. Paradise Dome. We'll go for energy credits there. We'll go for material processing there. Upgrade that. And minerals. Right, so, unspent civics, I might as well do it now. I'm not going to reform the government to, like, an, to an oligarchic one. I can never pronounce that. But we're not going to, we can't go to uh, dictatorship or imperial. Um, but what can we get? Mining guilds, plus 10% minerals production, beacon liberty, increase of unity, uh, extra systems we don't want, environmentalists, consumer goods cost. Currently, what are, we, what are we on that one? Consumer good cost is 20 we're using in terms of, so we'd only get a little bit back, it's not really great. Functional, functional architecture is okay, um, citizen pop happiness is always pretty good. Mining guilds, planetary system, manufacturing cost, police state, unrest, no, shadow council, which is uh, influence selection stuff. I think beacon of liberty, I'll reform that one then. So we reform that, we gain a civic, increase our unity output, currently on unity output, uh, 285. Going to send our fleet over to... Um, do I undock it? Is there any reason to undock it? Well, probably not. Unless I see them coming through here. There's their fleet. It's not their fleet, actually, but they have a space station. Because I can see... I've got line of sight with this guy, you see. Right, there's the heretic fleet detected. 8,000. I can't take 8,000. I can't take... I'm sorry, I can't take 8,000. <laughs> um... Right, that that is a big problem. There's advanced shields. Um, I can't take it. Thousand. It's as simple as that. There's, there's no getting around it. I can't. I can't handle that. Right. And it's fast and all. It's fast that fleet. Oh god. Okay, this is problematic. This could go wrong. Grand fleet's getting turned on. Increase our capacity. And I know that um, we do get a bonus for building ships at G Star, but at the moment, it's uh, it's it's just speed. Uh, you know, quantity is a quality at this point. We do have the ability to talk to this guy. Um, let's see, I want minerals. Bump. There we go. There's more minerals. So cruiser. Can't build another cruiser. Damn it. We're going to be on about five and a half, six thousand, fully with a fully upgraded, uh, maybe seven. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, depends on what this um, next thing gives us. Four eight. Uh, damn it! What are they armed with? Let's have a look. I can't tell. I don't know what that is. That's a mix. That's a mixed barrel. Um. Oh, that is a mixed, yeah, that is a, a mixed fleet, that, look at that, all sorts of stuff on that one, guns and all sorts of gear. But they're coming towards me, and they're coming fast. I'm waiting for everything to get. Uh, we'll send everyone to G Colony. Keep building. They're gonna, they're gonna get this, they're gonna smash that up very quickly. I need to, s where am I gonna make my stand, that's the question. 
I didn't expect this guy to go to war with me. Of all the people. Hmm. We should have a defensive pack now. Oh well. Right. Yeah, they're moving stupidly quick. And there's their transport fleet. They must have warp drive 3. They must have. What they're armed with. Missiles. Missiles, missiles. Ah. Okay. Ah, and then missiles and lasers. Right. Okay. This changes the game a little. I can see them now. Uh, warp drive 2 across the board. So same speed as me. Um, however. However. Ship designer. As you see, we're all lasers. No defense against missiles. So we're going to change it. So we're going to say... Can't do it on that one. Um, oh, we haven't got it. That's why. Where's our technology? Um, six months remaining for central point defense. If we had central point defense, we'd do a lot better because we'd be able to shoot down the missiles. At the moment, we cannot shoot down the missiles, which is obviously bad. So I'm going to be on five, six, and a bit. What's my technology level? Equivalent. Yeah, but it said equivalent last time. So they're fine into my system, but they're going to have to jump out one, two, three, four jumps in before I really have to start engaging them. I'm going to see... I'm going to let them smash that up. I'll let them smash that thing up. Although, to be fair, it does have... Ah, I was going to say it does have um, 4,000 military power, but it's equivalent offensive and defensive. And... Uh, ah, no, it's got loads of medium lasers all over it. Okay. I think that's where we make our stand, unless they jump out. And go elsewhere. I'm just going to fully upgrade. Wait until everything's grouped together. Like I say, I rather... I don't, I don't really mind this, them smashing that up and then me engaging them in a better position. I can't see them though, but I will be able to see them as soon as they hit here. Now, they're not going to stop to destroy these things because last couple of patches you can't... You don't destroy these things anymore. You just sort of bypass them. So, yeah. That's upgrading ships. Taking a little while. Our ships have been improved. There's the fleet's jumped in. Waiting for all the fleet to get here. They're trying to gang, uh, gather up. 6,000, 6,4, 6, 6, 7. Our ships have been improved. It's going to be 7,000 by the time we're together. Don't think I can wait that long. I'm going to start moving. Yeah, we're going to meet there, I think. But we do have the same warp drive. Keep building cruisers. There they are. Entering orbit of G Colony 1 Prime. That's what it says, but they're heading there first. Really? They're going to G Colony 1 Prime? I very much doubt that. I'm still going to jump there, though. Because if I'm there, I can, either run, I can run back quicker than they can. And also, I can jump there as well. Okay. I don't want zero gel anymore. Got bigger fish to fry. Have us new There's a sentinel point defense. Uh, hype drive 3 would be good. Advanced combat rolls. Shield capacitor. Shield capacitor, I think, actually. Um, now, most of my ships, I'm guessing, yes, they'll, they'll upgrade with that, uh, with that thing that I mentioned. With that. What are you doing? Yeah, they are. They're heading to G Colony 1 Prime. Okay, turn round. Turn round then. Right, this this changes things. Um, if they're not going to smash that up, which they might change their mind, we'll see. Once the jump's gone. No, they're not. They're, they're coming straight to G Colony 1 Prime. Okay, that's that's actually giving me a huge advantage now. Ship designer. Uh, we'll go down, destroy it, pick it. Uh, interceptor cruiser. Uh, the Corvette is standard lasers. The picket ship. Yep, it's made of itself a picket ship. So central point defense. Cruiser is standard lasers. Right, that's um, that's helped me out massively, quite honestly. Um, ah uh, yeah, good guy enemy. Um, giving me an advantage that it didn't need to. So it's definitely still coming to G Colony One Prime. It is G Colony One Prime. I mean. We've got a big ass space party. I mean, what's it going to do? Okay. If they, if they want to fight this, well, I'll fight it. Let's pull the science ship back. Uh, engineering ship back. 
Ah, straight away, look, see that? See, they've jumped down in fleet capacity. So that went from 7,000 to 6,500. That's because, technically, the stuff I've put on there is worse in tech, but it's better for my cause. Because all their cruisers have got missiles, and I need stuff to shoot down their missiles. Okay. I mean, this could decide the end of the game. If, if I lose this fight, I'm done. Like, there's nothing much I can do. There's the, there's the ships coming in. Straight away engaged. Wish me luck. Have an admiral there. There's their stream of missiles. And there's their my point defence. Immediately taking... Taking a lot of their missiles out. This is good. Uh, we are going forward because we can't alter the combat stuff. They are losing ships, but I'm losing them faster. I do have a lot smaller ships, though. They have more cruisers. My 2k military fleet from the... Uh, on my two cliff fleet from the spaceports fighting away there. Um, Taken down to 7 9, 7 1. I'm now in really engaged, so their, their missiles won't be as effective as my guns. They're down to 5 8, 5 7. They are losing ships very, very fast. 5 4. Now on 5 1. So I've beaten them in terms of fleet power now. Down to 4 7. Also, my spaceport shooting at them as well. And. Yeah. Yeah, we've got that. Good. Complete. Good. Okay. Crisis, not just, not averted, but dulled somewhat. Start building more cruisers. Actually, no. Stop building cruisers. Keep building picket ships. Because that's what saved me on that first volley. If I didn't have that, I think I would have lost maybe 500 to 1,000 straight away. And there you go. Oh, looks like a curator's talked. Uh, talk to me. Hello, how's it going? Right, so, G Conley 1 Prime, go back, get yourself uh, healed up. Only lost a couple of K, very good, that's good. Um, I will go for... Yep, yeah, uh, I think we'll go Master Ship Rights. Ship build speed and also <laughs> increase by 15% and naval capacity by 10. Good, good start. So they do have this little thing here, look. You can see the... Uh, this is the Traxy there. Still got the science ship. They've got a couple of... Um, actually, I haven't seen their... Oh, there's their transport fleet. It ain't moving anywhere. Straight away, look at that. 14. I've got 16 war score. <laughs> They'll almost accept a white piece after that one fight. They put all their eggs in one basket. And um, we made an omelette, lads. <laughs> right, okay. So I think we'll leave it there. Good episode. Happy with that. Good. Um, not entirely convinced that a war was necessary, but um, I'll take it, and especially when we take the win. Not going to go on the aggressive. Uh, don't think that's going to be worth it. However, let's build up our fleet and see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also on the Patreon feed, as I've mentioned several times, this is a Patreon-sponsored video, so thank you very much. Plus one generic approval slash appreciation points to you, because otherwise this just wouldn't be possible. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.